I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Don't back down from the gospel. That's the subject of the day's Higher Things Video Short. The gospel can seem too sweet. It can seem too wonderful that salvation was achieved for all on the cross and delivered to me in my baptism. That faith, which flows from the gifts, washes away all my sins. There is no sin of mine that Christ did not die for, no debt that he did not pay. I stand before God forgiven, justified before Almighty God. And this isn't to revel in my sins as if to say, oh, look how much Jesus saved me from all the sins which I do so poorly on, as if sort of I'm going to show off what, what I've done in order to encourage you to do the same. We don't need that. The gospel for sinning, we do enough sinning on our own. What I mean by don't back down on the gospel is, is don't took off, take your foot off the forgiveness ever. Don't hedge the gospel. Don't try to contain it. Uh, don't be worried that the, the grace of God will be, be, be cheap or that, um, or that salvation by grace alone through faith in Jesus Christ is somehow um, too easy. Uh, don't, uh, don't think that the gospel needs sort of requirements, like if, if you believe enough or if, if you repent enough. The gospel is the proclamation of Christ and him crucified. There's, there's no restriction on forgiveness, no point in which you aren't forgiven, no, no place where God says, I've forgiven you 700 and, uh, you know, 50 times, I'm not going to forgive you one more time. No. The good news is he was crucified for our sins and he was raised for our justification. Well, what about if I want to live in my sins? Well, if you want to live in your sins, you'll hear the law. The idea that, that if you want to be slave to what you, what you do and don't do, if you want to live in the filth and the death of what you once were, you're free to do that. God will not force you um, to believe. But just understand that, that this isn't because of the gospel. This is because of the law. Uh, you want to live in your sins because you don't believe the gospel. You want to you want to you want to use the grace of God in vain. You want to use Jesus to justify your 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 wretchedness to 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 continue doing what you've been doing because you don't believe that Christ has washed your sins away. In Romans when Paul says, shall we sin more that grace may abound? Which is basically, you know, shall we have this deal with God where the more we sin, the more forgiveness we get? You know, like, I like to sin and Jesus likes to forgive. We make a great partnership. And the answer is not some law. The answer is the gospel. You are the baptized. To be saved, to be forgiven, to be washed is to be freed from the sin, the slavery to sin. To not have to live in your sins any longer. And so repent of your sins and believe that you are forgiven. Don't just be sorry for your sins and act as if that's enough. Believe that Christ has done, was, was crucified for your sins and raised for your forgiveness. Walk in the light as children of the light. Because you are in the light. You are light in the Lord. You were in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. And so never back down from the gospel. Never take your foot off the forgiveness of sins. Never hedge your bets with qualifiers um, or, or sort of words that will limit the gospel. The law kills you completely, devastates you, and damns you. And there's no stopping the condemnation of the law except dying. But when you have been crucified with Christ, you no longer live, but he lives in you. And the death that you, you die now, you, you live by faith. The life that you live now, you live by faith in the Son of God who loved you and gave your li his life for you. You are the baptized. You are the washed. You are the forgiven. In your baptism, in the word, in the forgiveness of sins, you have no sins.
In the law and in your old Adam, you do nothing but sin. But in the gospel, in the forgiveness of sins, there is, there is only life eternal in Christ. Think about it. And don't let anyone steal that comfort from you or make you hedge it or make you backtrack from it. At stake is your very salvation. I'm Pastor George Borkarda. This has been another Higher Things video short.